we are thrilled to have with us two of the um, top TV and radio personalities in the industry. Please welcome our lovely guests today. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. First of all, uh, who's got sore feet? Anyone? Do you know the secret of uh, taking the Advil in the morning? I think it's three, right? Three, three Advil before you even come to the show, starting like three weeks before, and then you cycle it, <laughs> and then your feet are numb, they and by the end of the show, it's all and fun. puffy, yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, I have a question for yes, you, Eric. This is the Naked Kitchen and Bath Association, and it looks right. very squeaky clean for being the all-naked kitchen and bath show. I, no? No, it's, it's actually, not, it's, na it's oh, national. Oh, okay. I thought, it, I'm thinking naked. I mean, I know they're Cindy talking about Dole. toilets a yeah. lot here, but yeah. all right. No, she, Cindy, no. All right, sorry. Uh, we did see some nudity, but we won't get into that. But ha has anyone seen the $7,000 toilet here? The Regio? Did you guys see that, yeah? the Regio? What do you, is it cool? You like it? No? Yeah. yeah. Would anyone pay the 7000 for the toilet? Cindy made a, a great point this morning that you can actually have the, the song Baby I, I Was, was born, born This Way, way because that as you're lowering down in the back. the toilet. I love this, yeah. I know. It's a little bit too Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hey. Come on in. We got, we're giving away free meatballs. Come on. Come, come gather around. But this is all about trends, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a little more uplifted than last year's K-Biz. I feel that uh, there's a good energy. Not that last K-Biz wasn't good, but this feels like there's a little bit more mojo happening from yeah. Yeah, it the feels brands. like the economy is kind of just... changing a little bit. People are spending a little bit more money. Do you, do you feel this way or no? Can we get a round of applause? Yay. Are you guys going to do things this year? Are you guys, stuff? you're the media or designers or designers? Raise your hand. Okay, you're all designers. Wow, people with great taste. So you guys know the trends. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything strike any of you? Yeah. Does anybody want to sing? Stand up. What's your name, please? Anita. Anita, who wants to hear Anita sing happy birthday? Anyone? <laughs> sing happy hey, birthday. Hold the mic. Go ahead. Just hold it. Ready? I think she's just pearly two, shells three. to you. Go. Oh, all right. <laughs> For audience participation is, is required. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, it's actually my birthday, birthday tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Yay! Taurus, Libra rising. <laughs> Cancer moon. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, uh, thir f 30 through 2. Yeah. 6. 13. <laughs> Depends if there's a network guy around. I, I, I yeah, got to yeah, put the yeah, moisturizer yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. No, I'll be 75 tomorrow. Yeah. See, that always is a good way to go. Uh, anyway, I, I have felt that this has been really exciting. And it's really fun to meet you guys, the designers who kind of make this thing happen. Uh, I'm a general contractor for about 25 years. I spent my entire professional career saying to the architect, this can't be built, and then to the designer, what the hell are you talking about? So I've always been in the middle, and, and I really respect the design element, obviously. It, it makes a huge difference, and ultimately the design ends up being, I think, what people walk away with really appreciating. So round Yay. of applause to you guys. Thank you for all your input. And on my show, Home Wizards, and Eric is frequently on with me, uh, we were broadcasting just yesterday from here, we're hearing a lot from consumers as well as designers, that same thing, that you know, it's all about being empowered and uh, staying ahead of the curve, but yet being in tune with, with people. So. I think from this KBiz, the takeaway for me is not only the green message, which has been around for a while, and the luxury for less, but uh, the old idea of having all the different age groups uh, live together in home. Are you, are you believing in that and seeing that with your clients? Yeah? Who's yeah. going to let their mom move in with them? Raise your hand. Anyone? Yeah, let me, let me hear. Come here. Get up. Get over here. Stand, come walk around this way, please. <laughs> All right. But it is, it's an important thing. I mean, no, none of us wants our parents to be in a nursing yeah. home, and it's great to have the design. What is your name? Kelly. Round of applause for Yay. Kelly. All right. Where are you from? Denver. Oh, I went to school at Boulder. I think you owe me money. I remember you. Yeah. Tell me about your situation with your, your, uh, your parents moving in with you, or are you still living with your mom and dad? It's sort of a joke. That's my mom. Oh. Get out. Get off the stage. Get out. <laughs> But I, I might let her move in with me <laughs> someday. Yeah, because what we've seen, thank you very much. Round of applause. You know, anytime hey. people help out, we love this. Okay. We've seen some great, you know, cabinet manufacturers doing things. Hold on. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Hold on. All right. All right. Whatever. Okay, good. All right. But we've seen a lot of great cabinet manufacturers creating great design when it comes to this idea of honoring multi-generations. Different heights, different, different heights, needs. you know, for the kids, maybe cooking, maybe grandma can't stand and anymore. And for pets, too, yeah. you know? And, and pets and great storage. Have you seen this? Anything strike your fancy? Yeah? No? You? The drawer that pulled out with the dog dish. 
Yes, exactly. The dog dish. And then, and then like buying or getting cabinetry that houses things, Costco runs, for yeah. example. Where do you put all the paper towels? Now people, I think, kitchen designers are starting to honor, like, we have all this extra bulk stuff. Where do we put it? So I've seen those trends. And the cabinetry and countertops that also have come at different heights for yeah. your little kids right. or for your aging parents. So that's all really cool. Who has, who has kids here? Anyone? All right, good. I have oh, my gosh. Can we not say who's here? The President Please. of the United States of America. No, I, I'm going to do it. Please. Please come here. Please come here. Diane Corman. This is a favorite friend of mine. You all watch Ex Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Oh, my God. She's the queen behind it. I love you, Diane Corman. Hi, Diane. Round of applause, what I guess. What trend did you yeah, like, right? Diane Corman? I am just seeing my beautiful friend, Cindy Dole, here. <laughs> <laughs> um, what trend? Put me on the spot, why don't you? Um, or colors or anything. I mean, you've heard, as you all designers have, that Pantone is out with this pink is supposed to be the big color, but we're not seeing pink in the kitchen and bath here. Yeah. It's more organic and, and neutral. Yes. Yeah. It, I think your palette should always be neutral and your as decor. You, as you're wearing. Oh, my. And your decor should be the color because then you can change it out when you get sick of it, right? And if you go into Craft Made, you see that all over, even Kohler. They change out their design items, not their main base. That's what I see. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, anything else Nuts, that's striking sorry. your fancy? Anybody? <laughs> yes, no? What do you got? No? No? So we what? talked about colors. Uh, we can't forget the spices. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah what we Toe kick heights are going up. The, oh, okay. Wheelchair yeah. accessibility and... I thought it was just for mm -hmm. looks, but realizing now it's for wheelchair accessibility and things like that, so. Yeah, that's amazing. There's nothing worse than a low toe kick or you can't get your feet under the cabinet. Yeah, I am seeing that as well, too. What do you, what do you got? Go ahead. What were you no, I was going to say, back to the colors, uh, we saw some really cool, like DuPont's spice colors for the Corian right. and Zodiac, and I thought that was really neat. I mean, I'm, I'm in the mode now of getting rid of our, I'm afraid to say, tile countertops. Ick. Yeah, I don't right. like the grout, yeah, and lot, I want to have a solid these, surface. A lot of these uniform services like... Um, you know what, Corian or, yeah. or, or some of that. Exactly. What yeah. is it? Yeah, the, exactly. the whole quartz yeah. thing. Yeah, it's Yeah, and rich. I've seen that in the showers a lot, too, so there's not as many Heidi grout Katz joints, has a right? question. It doesn't seem that the cement thing is any more a thing. I'm seeing no brightly colored cement counters or brightly colored painted uh, cement flooring that I saw even just a couple years ago. It kind of came in, and now it's kind of that, ur that urban thing, where to go, right? Is it? You tell me. Is it gone? I don't know. I, I haven't I, seen much. Anybody out there, designers? Are we seeing the concrete counters I'm seeing painted concrete for the garage, but I'm not seeing uh, the... Right. For the, it, for the it, interior You know what? It feels, it feels to us like, you know, people are not moving quite as frequently. They're going to maybe stay in the home that they're in. They'll remodel or they'll make amendments to the existing home. Is that, is that what you guys are yeah. checking out? Yeah. And in terms of energy efficiency, I mean, we're from Los Angeles and California. There's this big move, as there is everywhere, to save water and to save on your, on your utility bills. And there's all kinds of rebates. And um, I'm really feeling the, the appliances are just getting smarter and smarter. You know, we, we've talked with the folks at GE, for instance, you know, those those appliances are great. Right. Decor's appliances, they're here showing, of course, and uh, the luxury for less. I mean, it just, there's a lot of things that you can get, I think, for different budgets and still have a chance to then save some money coming and going. Right. You know? I've, I've also been uh, really influenced by lighting. I think everybody's oh, yeah. paying a lot more attention to the way the LED lighting. LED lights, you know, yeah. The new, the Affordable new, yeah. and thankfully more attractive for our skin. But yeah, cuz the you know all that old stuff that that we used to have when it was replacing the traditional bulbs it makes you look kind of green and like you're going to throw up or yeah. something. Now it really seems like they're warming up those tones. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lot better. Yeah, anybody have any questions so far at this point? Anyone? No? All right, then get out. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I have a question for you designers. For us in the media, how could we help you with your jobs communicate what you're trying to do? You know, well, hang, hang on, I'm going to talk to you. Get to the microphone here. Hold on a second. Well, what's your name? Tony Vanderholz. Yes. And where are you from? Applause, Southern Tony. California. Oh, yay! Are you in the LA area? Redlands. We're in Redlands. So what can we do to help make your job better and easier with the consumer? Um, real pricing. Real well, no, what do you mean? You know, real, 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 world, real world pricing. Um, they all think they can get it done for $2,000. Yeah, so and, you mean con conveying real price points through media? You know, they've never forgot design on a dime. 
that is still in the consumer's mind. Right. And so when somebody says they love HGTV, I always ask what shows they like because that will clue me in on what they're willing to spend and what they think things are going to cost. So. We yeah, were talking to one of the, the, in fact, it's the president of the NKBA yeah. and the former president today uh, who are saying, and I love this, it's a bumper sticker, I'm done practicing. Yeah, definitely. We need to make money, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys say, yeah, I'm done practicing. Yeah, I think the misconception on all the shows on television is that you see these remodels occurring, but what you don't know is that there's about an $80,000 budget in production, and we have 20 people on set that are really helping you do this. So it's not realistic about the time or the money, exactly. is it? Exactly. Yeah. You don't take a half hour to do. They right. absolutely do right. not take a half right. hour to do. And I can't tell you how many people, have, like husbands, have come up to me right. and said, thanks a lot, jackass, for, for making my wife. <laughs> I think I can do this. This Causing is completely angst. unfair, right? And, and we're, again, in the Southern California area. On my show, we talk with this This house. is called the Pasadena Showcase House, and you probably are familiar with it. It's one of the best showcase homes in the country where they have 30 designers like you folks tackle a room. You're nodding or familiar with it, and they work with different brands. But even then, I mean, it's a three-month project, but how many homes could truly be remodeled from bottom to top in three months? So, you know, we have to, I guess, communicate that it's, yeah, come on, look at the reality check. They say this is reality TV. TV, but maybe we need to, you know, chime the message harder for you, huh? Yes, yeah, go ahead. You want something to say? I think the big thing is a lot of people don't realize it's the materials they select that affect their budget and affect their price. And change orders. And change orders. Yes, they do. Length of time on ordering. And go ahead. And just length of time on getting those materials in on, on time for the job. R realistic expectation. So I have another question for you guys. That's Are people right. um, wanting your business for the kitchen or the bath? Which is taking precedent right now, you think? Is it the bathroom because maybe it's a little less expensive than the kitchen? Hang, hang on a second here, come back. It used to be the bath because it's a have to when there's a problem, it has to get done, but more and more people are doing their kitchens. And are people changing out their, their toilets, their appliances to be more efficient? Is that one of the makeovers? Yes, yes, energy is huge, um, really huge. And so is lighting and focusing on doing the right lighting and Everyone's having to follow California codes at this point. We're all going to be losing our lighting in 2012. You, you know what? That darn left coaster. <laughs> you know, Cindy and I. Yeah, Cindy and I actually covered the unveiling of the Martha Stewart KB home, and it was amazing because what the goal is for that whole industry now is to create housing where at some point in our lives, like cars, you see miles per gallon you'll have a sticker on your home that says the energy efficiency of it. So are you yeah. guys being influenced by people trying to be green? Uh -oh, or is that he's shaking. This guy, yeah. Hang on. The Reese Company. Not very much. Yeah. People want what they want. Yeah. The, I want to interject. The best quote I heard recently was a guy that um, was his, his, what he tells people is cheaper is cheaper. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to go back here. You had something to say. What was your name? I agree. It's not that much of an influence. They just want their kitchens and baths the way they want them. And I don't see that energy is playing a big part in it. So it's more about me as opposed to the environment, maybe, huh? Oh, hang on a second. And aging in place. Yes, aging in place. Um, where people are becoming more educated about that and the importance of living in a house right now that can last them for the rest of their life. And still feel empowered, right? And not feel like you're frumpy because you're getting older, right? That you're still sexy. And that's what we're so, talking about, so sexy guys, and sustainable. So guys, you don't, you don't push materials that are manufactured in more of a green way. You just do what the client... We live in Oregon, so Oregon is really big on not only sustainability, but energy. We have a CEWO program, and it's just really driving people to do the energy. Can we turn the it volume up? From, he, he being told it that comes here, from, folks here. It comes from uh, the local government also helping and supporting or the city driving that because they're getting dollars back, and people are seeing the savings, and they want to invest in that. Yeah, I, I found as a contractor, it's... it's uh, you know, get me plywood, I don't care how it's manufactured and why is it so expensive. So I'm, I'm fighting the same battle that you guys do all the time as well, you know. Eric, we have a question back here. Yes, What's where your are name? you? Um, my name is Lois, but we did a kitchen about a year and a half to two years ago. I was forced, uh, we live in Southern California, uh, by code, we had to use a type of green lighting. So we use the fluorescent, which I don't like. Yeah. And now I understand that they're reversing that. Is that true? 
You know, I, I have heard that they are because some of the, the technologies with light bulbs are so efficient and effective, like halogen now. I think we saw last night a 100-watt bulb will be replaced with a 70-watt halogen bulb. So right there is the savings in terms of energy output. So I think as they start <clears throat> doing that, we're not having to adhere to the disgusting fluorescent light that nobody likes. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, it's Wendy. <clears throat> and just to comment on the lighting, I think that those kinds of rulings are going to be reversed because fluorescent is actually dangerous. Um, and all this business on compact fluorescent light bulbs to replace your normal incandescent are hard to get rid of because they have mercury. What's replacing everything now is LED, which I am so excited about. In the last six months, we now have LED lighting that lasts for 50,000 hours, costs little to nothing to run, and is cool and is bright, which it hasn't been before. Yeah. Uh, year and it's, ago, war it's warming up in terms of the tonality oh, yeah, of it. Now you can get 28,000, even 25,000, I mean, even right. 3,000 um, right. uh, uh, Kelvin. So. Yeah, and so when you guys finish a beautiful project, nothing sets off your design like Hang fantastic on, you a gallery no, no, lighting, 2, right? 2,800 not, not, uh, 2, to 3,000, you can get Kelvin in, in LED. So. Right, right. It's okay, it's late in the day. <laughs> hey, don't, hey, we've been up since three in the morning, we're just getting started. Yeah, that's right. You know, I had another question for you guys. Are, are your clients asking you to retrofit their home to be more energy efficient or to help them evaluate their home in terms of it being a, a whole house, a whole system? Shaking your heads, no? No one's at, yes you are. Hang on a second, come over here. We have a home performance division. That's exactly what we do. We advertise it and we worked with the CEWO, that's Clean Energy Works Oregon. And in fact, it drove so many people to our company for business. It's been huge. So that's a good opportunity for you. Great opportunity for the company. And then they want to do other things as well. So you become their friend real fast. The what? You become their friend and their hero. Yes, yes, and it's good for our clients. And they also came out, the state came out with a low energy or a low cost uh, program through the electric company so they could pay for it through their electric bill for all the changes they're going to do. You guys in Oregon. Yeah, you know, the thing, I, <laughs> the thing I found about being incentivized by the government rebates and programs, you have to basically have a degree in science from, you know, launch missile codes, the, you know, an engineering degree to figure out how to wade through it. That's so confusing, and it's been so difficult to kind of figure out that paperwork, right? So it's almost to the point where they made it so difficult. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, question. I'm coming back to our... Question. Go ahead. I'm really getting a call for American made. A lot. I'm hearing that. Oh, a lot are too. you? Yeah. yeah. Because of the job layoffs? Yeah, they just want American made. I just turned a $300 knob job into a $2,700 job knob because they a knob job because they wanted American made knobs. Is that right? Yeah. So and, and it's no different in quality. It's just manufactured here, so it's more expensive. Exactly. Well, they wanted good. American made. That's, That's great. That's a good website, jobnob.com. Jobnob.com. <laughs> Say it 10 times, jobnob.com, jobnob.com. Jobnob. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm buying it right now. I'm going to go dead. <laughs> yeah. I own it. We got to get that website going, yeah. Speaking of websites, we have a website that we're building and we'll hope to reveal the next KBiz. And uh, we can't tell you everything, but it's fun. It's going to be a resource site with Eric and me together. And Yeah, so contractor referral, designer referral. So hopefully you can sign up on, on this site and we'll get you some jobs and then yeah. you'll, you'll be happy and love us. And if we don't, then don't hate. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions before we go and take naps? Yes, sir. Get over here. What is your name? <clears throat> All right. Huge round of applause. Hi, David. David is here. My God. Hold on. Thanks. Um, we missed the early part of the show, but what about uh, technology? There was nudity here before, so I'm glad you weren't here. Go ahead. What are you hearing about uh, people wanting to integrate technology into their kitchen? I mean, I see an iPad there on the counter, but I don't know if you've talked about it. When we were covering the Pasadena Showcase House just last week, it was all about using um, the iPhone and the iPad and the whole Apple technology to, like, for a couple hundred dollars, have complete surround sound in your outdoor living experience or in your home, as opposed to having to integrate wiring you know, for all your mini speakers. Yeah, so that so becomes that the brain, cool your own iPhone yeah. becomes the brain to your house, Quick solution. essentially. Um, and then the other thing too, applications <clears throat> that actually honor design, how to create 
and, and design your kitchen with shared technology that you, the homeowner, can share with your designer, your parents, your brother, your sister, thank you, to kind of contribute to the design in that sense. So have you guys had much experience with these applications that you download on your iPhone, sort of like an iDesign application, yes, no? Do you like it when the client meddles in your job, or does it drive you crazy? Yeah. I think by that answer, we don't want to have these applications, do we? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are a lot of apps. Do, do you as designers have your own app? Are you thinking about going more mobile? Anyone raise your hand? Yes? No? You ought to think about it. You got a question? It's, it's, Hold on. Um, yeah. There's actually, a ra I think it's called uh, Rail Tunes that's by Tech Lighting mm -hmm. that actually will... Stop backing away from the microphone. It's like this thing is hot. Guys, it's right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It's, um, it actually will do wireless music. So you can, ah, but you can nice. use your phone and you can use your pad. And so what's it called again? It's called, I think it's called Rail Tunes. It's on. Rail Tunes. Uh, oh, okay. Rail Tones, excuse Rail me. Tones. It's Rail Tones. It hooks into your existing, it hooks into your existing monorail. So it actually needs low voltage. So it goes into your monorail system and then you can. It go, if, you, if you have a monorail system, you can then put these rail tones in it, and you can put music wherever you want, and you can control it with your iPad. It's really cool. Did you guys hear this? This is, this is all about using sure. your Let's iPhone with an application microphone. that controls your own home lighting functions and the other energy functions in the home. What's it called? Yeah, uh, Rail Tones. Rail Tones is the application. So that might be something to suggest to the client, yeah. All right, anything else, kids? Are yes? you all going to KBiz next year in Chicago? Yes, raising your hands. Yeah, yeah, we love Chicago, McCormick Place. Good. Not that we don't love Vegas, too, but it's just fun to look forward to the next one and, and the new trends. The one takeaway? What do you think is the one takeaway? I have my idea. What do you guys think is the one takeaway of this year's KBiz? Anyone have an idea, want to share? Raise your hand. Hang on. Too soon? Too soon. You're still taking it all in. You're still being a sponge. Okay. I think for me the takeaway is that we want to feel comfort. I think that we've done, you know, we've done the wild and wacky. I think now we want to feel more grounded as we're staying in our homes more. And I'm, and I'm feeling that from the colors to the textures to the different um, technologies, you know. And I, I think that that's something that makes people feel good. And I think that's what we want. What, do you, what is your takeaway? I think the takeaway for me is that uh, I'm going to have to build a room for my mom and dad. And I can't <laughs> believe the tables have turned. And I'm going to have to change diapers again. Yep. Oh my goodness. Payback time. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice though. Aren't you it? lucky. It's nice that we can do that. Yep. Thank God. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys had fun at KBiz and continue to have fun. Um, we're here. So come on by and say hi and uh, have a good show. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye bye, you guys. Enjoy your experience. <laughs>